What's up, everybody? Commander Restless Corpse back here with Elite Dangerous, and I, I finally fucking did it. I did it. Right now, we are heading to the station to turn in the Navy um, Ascension or whatever. I don't think they call it Ascension in the, in the, uh, the Federation. So let's take a look. Uh, it's the Federal Navy Courier job to finally get Rear Admiral. It has been literally all I've been doing for the last two days. And what's weird is I was getting like two to three ranks a day until I got post captain. And then it, it just, it slowed down so much to the point where I like, I think I was cycling and doing courier missions for something like eight hours to get this one rank. Um, now, obviously it wasn't straight eight hours like I was sitting here watching shows and uh, and whatever and doing it so why the fuck don't I have the damn station uh, I was watching shows so every once in a while I just sit there and, and watch for a little bit I think to be honest I watched the entire um, Death Note series which I'm not going to get into but it was okay uh, some of you have probably seen Death Note it was okay. Like, I have some problems with it, but whatever. Um, we're going to go turn this in, and then what I'm going to do, because I've got... Oh. I've got about 110 million. That is obviously not enough to buy a Corvette. But having a Corvette means that I don't need the Anaconda anymore. So what we're going to do, I think, after I turn this in, is I'm going to take the Anaconda to Diagwandri... And then have another ship ported over there. And I'm going to sell the Anaconda, I believe, and use that to buy the Corvette. Because the Anaconda is pretty much D-rated anyway. Like, I've, I've got A thrusters on it and um, an A FSD. And that's, those are the only things that I've put money into on the Anaconda. So uh, buying a stock D-rated Corvette is not going to change anything, really. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll see. Uh, it is relatively early in the day at the moment. Uh, well, I guess not. It's 4 p.m. Uh, this episode is probably going to take me all day to record because there's other things that I want to do afterwards. I think I'm going to run over to Quincy, I think. Keynes, one of those. And maybe do some passenger missions to try and make some money because as one of you have already stated on the uh, comments of the last episode, it takes a ridiculous amount of money to outfit a Corvette so that is going to be my main focus now now that I have finally gotten this done not only does it mean it's time for me to go make some money but it also means that I don't have to worry about this anymore and I can start doing uh, you know multi crew with you guys also I do want to say that a lot of you have uh, have expressed interest in in doing multi crew stuff with me and that's super cool so I'm gonna take you guys up on that within the next few days or so and uh, probably uh, probably get some some pretty fun videos out of that stuff but we're just gonna see how this goes like if I get to Diaguandri to buy the Corvette and it turns out I'm not gonna have enough for a rebuy I might not do it until I make a little bit more money but I'm gonna get in here we're gonna do this we're gonna check just to make sure that I am indeed the rear admiral because I'm post captain now, which I believe is the rank right below it. This is the right station, right? Yeah, there we go. Incoming message. All right. Oh, whoop. Let's see. I am now a rear admiral. Fucking excellent. All right, cool. And I'm still only a baron in, uh, in the Empire, but I'm not interested in a cutter. So that really doesn't matter. And it's kind of making me think, like, since I've done all this stuff for the Federation, like, maybe I should join the Federation instead of the Empire, but that's something that I'm going to have to think about because I, I really like being with Orissa. But we'll see. Anyway... I'm going to go ahead and make the, the jumps and whatnot. 
over to where I left my anaconda, which I believe, let's first of all, let's go over here. I believe my anaconda is in Kiriuhet there, or however you say that. So I'm going to go get it. And I'm going to take it down to Diagwandri, and then I, I guess I still have some stuff in Thom Gateway. So I have some ships there. Or when I get to Diagwandri, I guess I could just buy a Sidewinder. Uh, and we'll figure that out. But for now, uh, what do I... Oh, yeah, and Kokubi, like I said, Kokobi, whatever, is where uh, we've decided to make our home. So I've got a couple ships there as well. Uh, but for now, we need to get to... Jesus Christ map. <laughs> for now, we need to get down to uh, this, this K word. So I'm going to see you guys down at Diagwandri and we'll figure it out. Now, first thing we need to do is make sure that they have one. They do. It's only 159 million here, uh, which as you can see, I'm, I'm decently close to anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy a Sidewinder for now. Uh, I'm not going to exchange the ship. I'm just going to store it because I want to uh, store some of the modules on the current ship. But hold on. So I believe that the, uh, the thrusters on the Anaconda are the same size as the Corvette. And since I have A-rated thrusters on the Anaconda, I'm just going to switch them out. See if I can switch them out. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to sell anything that I've bought from the Anaconda first before actually selling it. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves a Sidewinder. I was just going to have the, the Asp brought here, but I think it would take like half an hour or something like that. And I wouldn't have anything to do for half an hour, so we're going to do it this way. All right, so now that we've done that, we're going to go back to the shipyard and switch back into the Anaconda real quick and sell off or store some modules. All right, so like I said, the thrusters, we're going to be keeping those. We're going to be keeping the... What is the size of the frame shift drive here? is also sick, so we'll be keeping that. And uh, hopefully I can just put that, is the power distributor the same? Yeah, so maybe we can keep that modified power distributor as well. Although, do I care about the modification that much? Power draw is decent. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I really care about that. I don't know why, because it's just a three. And it's just for engines. I mean, the power draw is nice, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and sell that. But anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to buy some shitty thrusters. Some 7Ds. Oh, wait, we can buy even lower. 6E looks like the lowest we can get. Let's go ahead and do that, and we are going to store the old guy. Whoops. Uh, in the frame shift drive. I can get a 2E. Now, I think that that is all. Everything else is stock. Uh, let's check the modification on that. That's that's decent-ish. All right. So now we can go ahead and sell the ship. Oh wait, I've got. Do I want to keep any of this crap? Does it matter? Oh yeah, I wanna I wanna keep these. And then I guess for this stuff, we'll just... Oh, and this. All 
All right, now let's switch back into the Sidewinder. Finally sell the Anaconda. Now what would we get for it? 116, so that's, that's pretty decent. I, I would still have a decent amount of money afterward. So I'm going to go ahead and sell it. All right, so we're at uh, 228k. It's not too bad. Let's go ahead and buy this bad boy right now. Uh, and since I don't really need this fucking Sidewinder anymore, I guess we'll just exchange. All right. We are now a proud owner of the Federal Corvette. So let's go to outfitting and put that other crap right back into it. All right, so I dicked around a little bit. Um, I replaced everything that was E with a D so that I could get the jump range up a little bit uh, because it's it's currently terrible. Uh, we'll have to we'll have to work on that. Now I know that in a previous episode when I was talking about how I had the the Anaconda, if I A rated it, I thought the jump range was going to be terrible. You guys told me that that was wrong and there was a way to get it a decent amount. Now, I need you guys to tell me that because uh, the the idea is to trick this guy out. And I've kind of done some dicking around on Anara to try and figure like what I, I want this thing to be. And it's got horrible, horrible jump range. Now, I also read that the Corvette is super heavy, so it already kind of has bad jump range compared to the other two in the, uh, ships in this class. Um, give me some ideas, guys, on how to keep the jump range good, even though I'm going to try and make it, obviously, a combat monster. Uh, and by good, I just mean not abysmal. So help me out with that. But what I've got it set up for now is passenger stuff. Is we're going to jump over to, I guess, Quince. And uh, see what we can do with that. Now, it might take me forever to get there because I have ruined the jump range on this thing. But but we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, just kidding. Uh, I decided not to go all the way out to Quince because it was like 57 jumps in this thing. And that is not... That's not how I want to spend uh, my day off, so... <laughs> Uh, what I did was I, I just found like a, a tourism system and I went and I grabbed a whole bunch of missions and I did them and it took about two hours to do all of the missions that I grabbed and I decided that I'm okay with doing passenger missions for money but not the way I was doing like I, I literally have no info on it or whatever I just knew that tourism I guess is cool. Um, so I didn't make a whole lot of money doing it and it like I said it took about two hours so here's a couple things that I'm gonna need from you guys now right now I'm just I, I re-outfitted the thing to like as you can see I don't have any shields or anything like full fucking cargo and I'm gonna try a trade route here um, just to see how much I make with 528 or something like that cargo slots but what I need from you guys is let's let's say I want to do passenger missions. I don't have a lot of, like I said, info about it. Where do I go to get the best passenger missions for any ship? It doesn't have to be with this thing because this thing's, uh, it's jump range is terrible. But I'm looking for passenger missions that I can do quickly that will get me a decent amount of money that I could possibly stack. So if it's you know, in this ship, then I can stack a whole bunch. If it's in the ASP, I can stack maybe one or two, maybe three. Uh, but what we're doing here is we're just going to buy a whole bunch of Imperial Slaves. There they are. And we're going to take them a couple jumps away for maximum profit. So that was... 528 Imperial Slaves, and then we're going to take those to 
fuller vision, which I believe I've already got. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it looks like three jumps. And it would only be one jump in the uh, in the asp, but the asp obviously would only be able to carry like 20 or something, and that would be stupid. But, okay, so this, as far as I know for me, is like the, I guess, the quickest way for me to make money is just so fucking tedious. And I know you're going to say um, passenger missions are tedious too, but if I see bigger numbers coming in at a time, it will feel way less tedious. So, uh, give me the lowdown on passenger missions, guys. Because, obviously, whoa, hello. I was, you know, when they came out... And everybody was out there looking for the best stuff and whatever. I was still out exploring. So I'm, I'm late to the party here. So I need to know what's going on with those. Now, um, just digging around a little bit online while jumping and whatnot, uh, it, it looked like Quince was the best place to go. And I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but that's the way I'm going to call it. Q-Town. Q-Town was the best place to go, but I don't know why and I was thinking you know when I get there I'll figure it out I'll look around and I'll probably see it and be like oh that's why but I'm not taking that many jumps to get there because it would still probably be like 20 or something in the asp I don't want to take that many jumps to get out there and then get there and be like this is stupid I don't know why I came all the way out here so if you guys, and you don't need to give me your trade secrets or anything like that. If there's a place that you go that you get a whole bunch and you don't want it ruined, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, at least not publicly. Uh, and I guess if you did tell me privately, I'd, I wouldn't be able to make a video on it. So if you don't want to tell me like you're a super awesome place, then that's totally cool. But tell me how to find like, what am I looking for? What kind of states am I looking for? What kind of uh, economies and all that stuff am I looking for? What kind of missions in general? Like, yeah, obviously I could go for the missions that pay out the best, but that would require me going thousands of light years, and I don't want to do that. So what am I actually looking for? How do I find the best passenger missions? Because it, it seems to be like a general consensus is passenger missions are far and away the best way to quickly make money nowadays i want to figure it out um unfortunately once again i've been recording for almost three hours now um and i don't know how long this video is going to turn out because of all the downtime doing that i, I probably could have shown some of the passenger mission stuff that i was doing but it was just you know I took a bunch of missions and I jumped them to those places. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with the ship. I'm glad I bought it. It does have a, a few drawbacks. Uh, it's basically set up the way I had my Anaconda set up. My Anaconda had 29 light year jump range, whereas this has like a 16 or something. So obviously the ship itself is way heavier. Um, once again, I do. I, I need you guys to give me your, your outfitting secrets. Even if you have to show me an Anara page or something. Which I, I went there and I realized that it seems to not have been updated. Like I couldn't find like uh, fighter bays and things like that in, in the page that I was on. Um, so maybe it hasn't been updated. But, uh, but show me some of your builds for Corvettes guys. Get me some jump range. Get me uh, you know some speed and all that stuff. And obviously, oh, this guy's going to try and fuck with me. Obviously, it's going to be, like, I'm going to have to heavily engineer the thing. But get me a base to start with so that I can engineer this beast to be awesome. Um, basically, I, I want it to be, I want to be able to, you know, bounty hunt with it. Uh, that That's the focus of this thing is to bounty hunt with it. But I'm going to have fighter bays in it so that my bros can come and... and hang out and, and whatnot but that's what i'm looking for now i'm gonna cut real quick well maybe not because he's about to interdict me uh in the past what i had been doing how, how do i only have no, uh, did i like scrape the side of the station as i was leaving it and then i, I hate flying without a shield <laughs> like this is the first time i've ever, 
I've ever consciously flown without a shield. Like, I, it's not my thing. Uh, but whatever. Um, I forgot what the fuck I was saying. So, like I said, I'm just going to get to fuller vision here. I'm going to see how much I actually make with this size cargo hold doing this. Uh, I may put shields back on. If it's, if it's like a ridiculous amount, then I'll probably put shields back on so that I it, it'll still be a decent amount. Uh, I have a loop set up here that I'm going to be doing, but I don't have time for that because I've got to go get something to eat and then get ready for my raids on Final Fantasy XIV tonight. But this is, this is where I'm at now, guys. I've completed my goal of actually getting the Corvette, like grinding out the rank and getting the Corvette. I guess he ran into the sun, so he's not, gonna, he's not coming after me. Now it's all money all the time. It's all grinding for cash all the time. That is that is the goal now. And I want to do it fast. And I know when people say, oh, what is the quickest way to make money? People are like, oh, man, well, like, it, it you know, you're, you're ruining your experience by by trying to get rich quick and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I've, I've put in enough time on Elite that now... I have a goal and I want to complete that goal fast. So help me out, guys. Help me out. I need to make money super quick. In any case, I will see you guys in a second. We're going to jump into Fuller Vision here. All right. All right. I see. This is how it's going to be, huh? That's fine. That's totally fine. Stop. Chill. There we go. Normally, oh, that's what I was saying. Normally, I would power down, or I would, like, throttle down and submit to these interdictions. But since I am running shieldless, that is not what I'm going to be doing. Uh, and I haven't been doing that, like, while I was uh, running all the missions, the rank grinding missions. I kind of just decided to change my mentality on interdictions and fight them all. And so far, I'm doing well. Doing well. I haven't lost any since I, I made that decision. Um... Anyway, back to the flight. We're almost there. We're going to get in here. I'm going to see how much this actually gives me. Probably rant at you for a little bit, and then i got to take off. Welcome to Imperial Sovereign Territory. Please approach at a Thank safe you. speed and comply with safety. There will be no safe speed approaching, lady. There never is. Although now I'm kind of scared because I don't have shields. But I doubt that hitting the station with my landing gear down so I can't even go that fast would destroy me. I'd be a little upset if it did. In any case, let's get in here. I want to touch down. Oh, uh, also landing kind of sucks without shields, especially this big ass tub. It is a little bit more maneuverable though, which I'm I'm a big fan of. Even though it's uh, it's about the same speed, I guess, like thruster wise, but it just seems to be a little bit more maneuverable than the Anaconda ever was. Safe operating limits. Fly safely. Right, looking at 39. Right down, meow. Alright, you need to chill out, bro. I always forget to... No! Well, whatever. A lot of times I forget to throttle down. So that when I get over the pad and I start, like, going down to the pad, I'm still moving forward and it, it bothers me. Uh, so let's see if we can get down here without busting a percent off of our hull. Excellent. Landing complete. Ship secured. All right. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. So I mean, that's that's a pretty fucking decent profit for the amount of time that that it took to do it and then I would obviously loop back around so all right to recap guys it is time for me to do whatever I can to make money quick because I want to outfit this ship all right now I know one of you uh told me and I guess last time last video that it takes around a billion or something like that I don't think it's gonna take that much to be honest uh, it's mostly because I'm gonna hunt down all of the discounts and stuff for each each piece but I need I need a lot of money 
And the information that I want is, first of all, and I know I've asked this before and you guys gave me some suggestions, but don't remember them. What do you guys do for money? Now, the options that I know of are trading. Um, it sounds like I don't know any more options, but I forgot where I was going with this. Uh, trading, bounty hunting, and passenger missions. Now, obviously, exploring is a thing, but if you think about the time it takes for exploring, uh, I don't. I wouldn't do it for money. You know what I mean? I I count money from exploring as a a pleasant bonus from exploring. You explore for expo exploration sake, and you make some money on the side. Uh, so the three, like I know where to go to bounty hunt. I don't need help with bounty hunting. That's why I'm I'm building hopefully a combat monster. Uh, what I want to know, and I don't really need help with trading because I have the the eddb.io loop finder right here. What I need is information on passenger stuff, and it doesn't have to be with this ship. Uh, if you can find me a, a quick way to make money with the ASP, that'd be absolutely amazing because it's got a great jump range it's fast you know all that good stuff and i can take out some of the, the optional internals and put uh stuff in it what i was thinking and i guess we could probably take a look at it here as soon as it's bad but i've been having problems with, okay so little ones like this uh in a economy uh i i'm pretty sure you can stack like obviously i wouldn't do this one it's only 239k um, but I'm pretty sure you can stack, like, you can cram a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of different um, passenger, like, customers into the same um, cabin if you have enough room, I think. Maybe. I could be wrong. But uh, would it be worth it to take, like, let's find something. Like, what about this guy? No, see, I'm talking about, like, single hop passenger missions guys I don't know if I can find any here but you you, you know what I'm saying like single hop passenger missions like this guy uh, if I could put a whole bunch of these types of missions together well that one's you, but you see what I'm saying uh, there were a lot like refugees at the place that I went to and I got like three three of them and crammed them all into a couple economies um is that viable? Like, is there a place where you can get a whole bunch of those so that I could just go there with a whole bunch of the same uh, passenger cabin class and just cram them all in there and get them all done? Let me know. In any case, uh, as usual, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm sorry to leave it like this, but I've got to go. I'm running out of time. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Eject. Eject. Eject.